Okay, cool. Okay, guys. Well, I got Jimmy behind the camera. Kudos to him. Wave, wave. He's. <laughs> Blooper. <laughs> okay, guys. So I got Jimmy behind the camera here. We are here in the very stripped down set of Make It with Calvin. So I'm going to give you guys a quick little house tour. Starting off in here. Literally, I kid you not, right here is where the old set used to be, and I'd have my monitor and laptop there for filming. That's where the bed is. So the new set is literally this desk with the filming light that I brought out for the video and the chair. The desk and chair will be going over to Jimmy's place because Beth just loves this, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, Beth's all nodding in the corner like, yep. <laughs> Wait, Beth, okay. <laughs> this is great. So then over here, this is not Make It With Calvin related, but this is the spare bedroom. We would call it the nap room because this is where Grandma would take a nap in. So not a whole lot to see in here. Just to have a bed and a desk and crap. Nothing too much. And then here we have the other half of my life in the closet along with non-life stuff, you know. Does this mean you're coming out? Are you going to come out of the closet now or what? Okay, here, here, here it comes, here it comes. Ready? Here it is. Oh my gosh, they suck, guys. <laughs> <laughs> that was so bad. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> Walk right into that one. <laughs> also not make it with Calvin related, but this is Grandma's room. And let me just pop the window open here so you guys can get a peek at that amazing view. Take a look at that. Oh yeah, that is, I will, I, honestly, part of me goes, I won't miss that, and part of me goes, I definitely will, but it's, it's beautiful, and I'll probably cut in a time lapse of what it looks like over a couple of days so you guys can see, but it is amazing. So, also not make it with Calvin related, but then we have the wonderful stairs. So every time I talk about I have to go downstairs, here's one of the evil flights of stairs that I absolutely hate. And Jimmy's like, Calvin's making me go downstairs. I don't care. I know. Where's the light switch right here? So in here is technically the, quote, dining room. It never really got used for that. Here we have the wonderful, crappy AT&T U-verse DSL modem that gave me 0.5 megabits up and like uh, 1.52, something like that, down. I'm kidding you not, guys. I live in San Francisco, and that's the best AT&T could sell me. Big thumbs down. Oh, well. So nothing too fancy in here. Here's the kitchen. I've set up my eating area so you guys can see that's what I've been using. Literally like a little TV tray and a stool that needs a paint job. That's sad. I know, dude. It is sad. Ooh, you got your fat too. Yeah. Then over here, it's just a little service porch in the bathroom. That's nothing really worth showing, I promise. It's, uh, you, want, you, want, you want me to turn the light on so you can see? Okay, whatever. I don't remember it. Yeah, you know. Or is this where they used to stake you whenever you were a bad boy? No, no, but. What, what's this? Do not enter. <laughs> Ooh, now we know where they hide the bodies. Yep. <laughs> okay, completely random fact in here, guys. In this area, there used to be a different toilet, but SF made us change the toilets, which is dumb. Literally right there is where Grandma would put her bananas to ripen them because she thought this was like the perfect climate to do it. I don't know why. Just a random tidbit right there. Yes, I just said that, Jimmy. I just said tidbit. Couldn't help it. By the way, how old was that so? I have no clue. That thing is old. Microwave's new. Tell us in the comments below, how old is the Oath Keeper Merrick? 
So. I would assume at least 40 or 50 years old, I'm guessing. Minimum. Minimum. It still works, though. Although the White Westinghouse uh, dishwasher, I know is way better than that. Oh, and the Magic Chef uh, microwave, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Uh, funny story, every time Grandma would run that thing, it would squeal like pig. <laughs> oh, it was so bad. I'll probably edit that out. She thought it would sanitize the dishes. I'm like, no, Grandma. Oh, shoot, thank you. Fail. So here we have the expansive, echoey living room. Right about here, where the rocking chair is, is where the TV was set up that I'd watch my Extreme Machines VHS tapes, because VHS rocks, and same with Extreme Machines. I'd watch that there, and the crappy throne thing would be sitting right here, which is like this awful chair thing. Oh, I loved it. Um, <laughs> Ooh, another, another awesome view. Another awesome view. Can you get it? Not quite as high up, but... Look at that. Look at that. Mmm, respect that. that. Respect. <laughs> totally ripping off the Hodge twins there, and they just don't care. So, there's that. Um, hmm, yeah. What's this uh, great guy here? I have absolutely no clue. Does that have to do with heating, or...? Uh, actually, technically, the heating register is right over there in that corner. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cool. That, I have no clue what it does. It might be another one. I don't know. But those are solid brass cap things, so they're, they're worth something. Oh, wait. What about the... Uh, you can't really see it with this light. How do you turn off that light bulb? Can I turn it off? Yeah, I just want to say a glass bulb here, the... And if you can't really see it... I'll, I'll insert a photo of it. Yeah, because that thing is a, that's got to be fairly old right there. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So then down another wonderful flight of stairs. Oh, yeah, right, right where Jimmy's standing is where the uh, telephone used to be, because that's the only phone jack. So kid you not, Grandma would literally have phone cords running upstairs and like running across the floor. Hey, boys and girls, this is a phone cord. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> And the funny thing is, when we finally got a decent AT&T tech out here, he took one look at the phone cord set up and goes, oh my gosh, that's horrible, and actually ran a separate phone line just for the modem, and I'll show you guys why in a minute. Wait, I turned all the lights off. Oops. I still can't. I've lived here about five years, and I can't remember the light switches. It's sad. By the way, what's the hole in the wall there? The hole in the wall where? Right here by the light switch. I think that might have been part of the old door mechanism, but I have no clue. Okay. Just curious. Just and are you thinking this handle opens the window? Uh, the handle, I believe, used to open the front door. Oh, wow. It doesn't do that anymore, but it used to. That's cool. Yeah. So here we are in the garage. And First he calls it the dirty dungeon. Yeah. So where is it that uh, that uh, all the tools live? No. Where, where where was it you used to keep all your stuff that uh, uh, the oxy stuff? Yeah. I'll show you that in a minute. So over here, you guys might actually recognize this. This is where the. Um, Big old CNC mill lived, and then over here approximately is where the lathe lived, and then the mower I lived right about here. So, is this woodworking table? Yeah, we don't know the full story on it, but we suspect it might have been part of the Matthews um, furniture thing, and if you want a woodworking table, Jimmy, you can probably have the table. <laughs> So if you guys remember any of the videos that I used to shoot down here, I'd literally set the camera up on top of this washing machine with all that stuff in the background. And you would see me right about here squatting down, trying to pick up my giant tumbler and falling over comedic gold like that. We got the dryer that we actually finally convinced Grandma, Grandma, you need a dryer. Clothes lines don't work very well. Oh, really? Gets a dryer and thinks it's the greatest thing ever created. That's not Tide Pods. What's up with this? No, this is this is regular Tide. Oh, how are you, how are you supposed to snack on that? 
<laughs> you horrible person. I'm just kidding. I totally fell for the joke. And then in here, I didn't really chew much of anything. This was just a little side room area that... Um, what used to be in here? Stuff and things. And that's what I'm probably going to say on camera. This would have been a cool room for you to film your videos in, dude. Oh, I know. Honestly, if we do our last stream here, we're totally going to do it in here. Oh, yeah. This house does not have bad views. No. Well, maybe, maybe the homeless person out in the front's a bad view, but that's a different story. <laughs> we'll edit that out, too. No, you won't. Nah. This thing's unedited. <laughs> Ooh, got a package in. Uh-oh. I don't know what it is. I'm going to film it, too. <laughs> I'm just going to open it on camera, and if anything happens, it was nice knowing you guys. That's weird, though. I never have anything shipped straight. It's blow up right here so that <laughs> you don't have a screenshot. <laughs> Holy crap. Somebody sent me an SSD, 240 gig, and Corsair memory. Uh, whoever you are, that's cool, because I did not know that was coming. Dude. I'm going to put that up on. There's no note in. What? Uh. I'm putting that up on Twitter later, because whoever sent that, um, you're awesome. Wow. You are. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, so sadly in here there is no lighting. Do you have your cell phone on you, Jimmy? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Because we can use that for lighting. Okay, hang on. You gotta unlock it. Just gotta do the stupid fingerprint thing because you know Outlook. Oh man. Jimmy hates it. Come on. Oh, there, there we go. go. You get. I'll, I'll, I'll take. I'll take the light so I can do the old film myself. Does this look spooky? <laughs> Why are we going in the closet, dude? Yeah, we are totally going to the closet. That was so bad. Okay, so in here. <laughs> Don't look at yourself over here, man. I know what I'm doing. I've been in here before. Oh, you have? Yes. Yeah, dirty dungeon. It's like the tour of the Winchester Mystery House. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> if it didn't get picked. Spooks. Beth just said a great line. She goes, this is like a tour of the Winchester Mystery House, and it's true. <laughs> so in here, I didn't do a ton of filming, but right about this area is where I'd have the work table set up with the oxyacetylene rig. So I'd actually do stuff in here. I know you're technically not supposed to do that, but I also would have this back door here open. So we had ventilation in here, so it wasn't like, oh, look, there's no ventilation in this Leads to Jimmy's favorite set of stairs. Oh, so this is where you kept the bodies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, it goes up to the second floor. It just leads to the second floor bathroom. Honestly, so many people did not get where that went, and I can understand why. So is this where Angus was surprised where you were doing your stuff? No, he, he actually didn't even see this. He just saw... <laughs> be, be thankful, Angus. Be thankful. <laughs> That this was my work area. Oh, really? Yeah, he was surprised at this. So, yeah, no, this was this was where a lot of the good stuff on Make It With Calvin ultimately went down. That and upstairs. I mean, so I guess in conclusion, I gotta say. Um, no, 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 no conclusion. What's outside that door? Okay, let's let's. Oh shoot, I locked the phone. That's all right. So out here, oh, there's a little bit of light. Perfect. So I don't know if the GoPro is going to pick it up or not, but there's more of the view and there's some light coming in. Actually, you know what? Let me turn on the light in there really fast. I might get some more light out here. Sorry, Beth. Did that help a little bit? Yeah. Okay. So out here is the backyard area and Sadly, we don't really have much light out here. I will film this myself to show you guys what it looks like. But all I can say is a huge thank you to our neighbor for the help that he did with this. Um, you are awesome. And I guess in conclusion, I have to say a huge thank you to... Part of this house? The stairway there? No, that's no. the neighbor's house. Oh. No. So, coming back in here, where there's actually something called light. I guess in conclusion, I have, am I in the light? No, I gotta move. It's gonna look so bad. <laughs> so I guess in conclusion, I have to extend a huge thank you to everybody who has, you know, 
through this whole move thing, you know, helped out Jimmy when we had the Trek breakdown. Huge thank you to that. Thank you to my friend Scott for holding on to my Moai for the moment while we're working on stuff. And just a huge thank you to everybody who's come through here and made Make It With Calvin possible. Been on the show, watched it, everything like that. The show's not going anywhere, but it's definitely going to be... I'm going to have to change tack on how I do it. I'm going to figure that out once I land in a new housing situation and things like that. But I guess the conclusion, I just got to say thank you to everybody who's checked in on me made sure everything's going okay, and you guys are awesome. So thank you, Jimmy, for filming this, and thank you for all your help, dude. And don't worry, guys, the Calvin and Jimmy show will continue on in one way or another. That was actually kind of hard to say at the end there. I know. It always is. It always is, because it's like you're you're like, ah, no, and then you're like saying thank you to everybody and realizing this is probably going to be the only tour I'm going to shoot at this place. Yeah. The well, thing is, you got something to show the family now. For sure, I got something to show the family, and I can do the cut down version of like the make it with Calvin moment. Spots. And we got to show this. Look at that. Look at that. They don't make that no more. <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness for that. <laughs> or as I joke, don't do the scratch and sniff. No, don't scratch and sniff, or you'll regret it in 20 years. <laughs> oh, gosh. See you guys later.